The Senate President Ahmed Lawan has advised the incoming 10th National Assembly to maintain a bipartisan approach that prioritizes the national interest amid its deliberations. Lawan said these when he received outgoing British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Liang, in his office in the FCT. The Senate President said that the relationship between the National Assembly and the Executive should be based on national interest. He also commended the outgoing United Kingdom Ambassador for her work with the Ninth Assembly in ensuring the passage of the Electoral Act of 2022. My servants <coughs> uh, conservative uh, election into the National Assembly and I uh, believe that uh, the 10th the National Assembly will have uh, many experienced uh, legislators, mm -hmm. both in the Senate and the House, but with 70 percent of uh, the senators and members elect uh, the new, the, the call I would make here is for the next national assembly to ensure fast and serious capacity building uh, as quickly as we can because we need to bring uh, into form that the members of the parliament will be able to kickstart immediately. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we have to make um, every possible effort to provide for capacity building for our colleagues, mm -hmm. uh, especially those who are new. And since 70 percent, it's almost 70 percent, mm -hmm. that means we just have to spend a lot of resources. Yes. And um, I will take this opportunity to say that the National Assembly needs a lot more resources for it mm -hmm. to be in the kind of form and shape that will provide the kind of service Nigeria. Speaking earlier, Liang described Nigeria's politics as interesting while expressing joy over her stay in the country. The outgoing ambassador said she made very good friends during her stay in Nigeria. And I've, I've had overall a wonderful experience here in Nigeria. I've made many very, very good friends. I've developed some really important, strong working relationships, including with you personally. And I want to thank you for all the support you've given me and my team, all the many bills you've helped navigate through through Parliament, which is, of course, the foundation of, of the whole governance process. You know, it's what goes on in the Parliament and the Senate is, is really the foundation of a democracy. And I think you've, you've done an amazing job and we've, we've worked very well with you on all of that. So this is really a, a just for me to pay folks to say farewell, to say thank you. Um, but not the end. I hope we'll continue to whatever role you move into. I'll be certainly watching Nigeria very closely. And I hope my successor, Richard Montgomery, will be able to forge a strong relationship with you in, in your new position. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.